So, how do you find good proxy sites? Um, lots of people want to use proxies to hide IP addresses, um, bypass geo-blocking, um, just keep some privacy when they use uh, accessing a website, uh, hide their IP address, stuff like that. Um, lots of people just simply want to use a, a proxy from a specific country, like a UK one, um, to access BBC iPlayer. <coughs> um, this is because many of these media sites, BBC included, um, will only work with a um, if you're in the UK. Otherwise, you have to use a proxy. Unfortunately, proxies don't all work now on most of these media sites. They still work on the BBC, but um, they don't work uh, on most of the new ones. You need something like an SSH tunnel or a VPN tunnel, something like that. Um, but so what are these proxy lists anyway? Where can you find them? Right. Well, I'm just going to talk very briefly about it and go to probably one of the biggest one, which is called proxy.org. Um, most of these proxy lists are run by scripts. OK, so there's a script that defines a big list of proxies. Um, the way they populate these lists is uh, one of a few ways. Um, the main one is they take um, submitted proxies from around the web. So if I've got a proxy uh, site and I want to advertise it, I'll go to one of these sites and I'll either pay some money or I'll give them a backlink to their site. And Proxy.org is based purely on that. So you see all the highlighted ones have um, probably paid them some cash for it or uh, anybody else in the list has probably given them a backlink towards their site to help promote their site. Um, they can be sorted, but in fact, Proxy.org sorts them, does a really good job actually of sorting all the proxies into different areas. But there, you have no idea about, or they have no idea about who runs these sites, whether they're set up well, what, um, what the security is like, on, even what the intentions are of people running. I mean, if we look at a couple of them here, most, the majority are um, standard web-based proxies run on a script called Glipe. Um, the, the people make money generally by just you put in your URL and it goes submitted to a proxy server and then they fetch it for you. Uh, they make money on the advertising so they basically want to get as much traffic and then hopefully a few people will click on these ads. You can see down here Glipe is the proxy script that runs a free proxy. Uh, it's not a proxy list script, it's a proxy script. Okay, those are two different things. We can see here we go to another company again. This is advertised on proxy.org. Um, again, covered in adverts. They kind of work um, to a certain extent. Um, you've got to be very, very careful using them. You have no idea who these people are. These things come up and disappear in days, weeks, and um, weeks. Um, they'll be there one day and gone the next. Sometimes they're on free web space. Uh, be, you would you should never ever use any of these sites for anything that's remotely secure don't log on to PayPal with them you simply don't know who's using them and, and even if they're being used properly how they're set up the skill level of these people the vast majority of these are, are run by kids from their bedrooms you know who are learning trying to make a few quid out of um, AdSense or stuff like that so be very careful um, there are some good proxy sites, that put it, but if you're using the word good, you need to pay for it. Be, please be assured that is true. If you want a secure proxy, if you want a proxy where somebody's not going to snaffle all your data or try and steal your personal information, um, and you want something that's fast, you're going to have to pay for it. There's loads of decent ones out there now um, VPN so if you're gonna pay go for VPN there's no point just having a, a proxy um, a VPN is more secure because it would add uh, a level of um, security to it the one I um, promote is um, called identity cloak up I know it's run well uh, and I've been using it for years but there are some others quite a few others in fact now so look around the net but there are good proxies, free proxies out there, but there's not many, and you never know when you're using one or not. Okay, well, thank you for listening. I'll stop waffling now, and I'll leave you on proxy.org, the proxy author, the, probably the biggest proxy list on the web at the moment. Thank you, and bye-bye.